Now talking of uh, some of our coastal areas that could see some impacts, including St. Johns County, we have Kaylee Tracy in Volano Beach. Several surfers caught waves ECIS brought at Volano Beach Sunday. With this tropical storm coming up, um, you know, summer's the dog days. There's no waves during the summer. And like to just get a break like this is killer. Even though like you're getting beat up, just got to send it sometimes, you know. Officials in St. John's County, however, warned that although the threat here has been downgraded to a tropical storm warning, stay vigilant. This is a, a storm, but it is not a major cat uh, three or four storm, uh, but it is a storm. It is going to bring high winds, rough seas, uh, and people need to be careful. There was a double red flag warning out Sunday signaling dangerous ocean conditions. And because of these dangerous ocean conditions, including potential rip currents, swimming is not allowed at beaches across the county until further notice. We still want residents to be mindful of it. It's not something that's just it's going to go away. Surfer Matthew Hood acknowledged the rip currents were strong Sunday. You just got to know the ocean and know yourself and know your limits. Lifeguard towers won't be manned until further notice because of the storm, but lifeguards and marine rescue will patrol the beaches. And that was uh, Kaylee Tracy reporting for us tonight. A county spokesperson says lifeguards made several water rescues yesterday and one today. Now driving on the beach also isn't allowed until further noticed.